guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new intro for you. This one is for the whole collection Project Pan, which I've been doing for two years now, if I'm correct. Um, so this will be the third time that I'm doing it. It was started, as you guys know, by Becky from Becky Loves Kanga. Um, she's been doing it for a little while and then Emily and Sarah took over and decided to make it their own little collab and then the year after if I'm correct I'm saying a lot of if I'm correct <laughs> uh, they decided to let more people join in and we're doing it with a group of people right now um, now that I'm filming this we haven't really decided on like all the specifics around this yet but there might be a specific date that we're all going to be uploading not really sure yet if that's going to happen but if it does I'll make sure to mention that down below um, or at the very least in my next video, I'll make sure to reiterate that. But right now, we're starting a fresh new year, new uh, whole collection project 10 pen. Um, I'm gonna keep my kind of rules the same as last year. So I'm doing five longer term projects and five projects in which I'm gonna be doing five longer term projects. I'm doing five longer term products and I'm doing five products that I'm gonna be doing the 10 uses on. Um, and I'm going to try and just have like two of each in uh, this project, so no more than two eyeshadows, two lipsticks, those types of things, unless I feel like it's okay, <laughs> basically. Um, what else? Um, I'm not going to do any black eyeshadows, maybe one actually, because I don't have my black in the project at the moment. Um, one thing that I've decided for now is I'm not going to do a silver eyeshadow. Apart from that, I think we're good. So probably it's only the, the silver eyeshadow. So I've got my pretty random app here and I'm rolling numbers between 1 and 193. Yes, I'm correct. Yep. And everything from 46 until 193 is eyeshadow. So the moment I roll two numbers in between all of that, I'm going to take that out and just roll between 1 and 45 just to give you guys the full data there. Let's just get started. Okay, 10 rolls is always a lot. So we've got 147, which is an eyeshadow, and we've got 97, which is an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna change the numbers now, and the rest is gonna be, to be between one and 45. So we've got five, 45, two, I think we already have two blushes there as well two and five, so actually I'm gonna roll now between 18 and 45 because I don't need three blushes in here anyway. So I've got five numbers already. Let's keep rolling. I don't know how well you guys are able to see these numbers even, but 32, number six, 21 is number seven, 19 is number eight, 24 is number 9. Those are all pretty close as well, so there might be a lot of like duplicate products in there. And we've got 44. I think that is 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 10 products. I'm gonna get them and I will be back with you guys. Uh, let's see if we need to change anything around or not. Okay, so I've gathered all the products and I realized that normally I kind of call out the products before I go and get them, but I forgot. So I have the products here. I already did a little bit of thinking and I've decided on which ones I'm going to do for the long term and which ones I'm going to do for the 10 uses. Um, it was actually easy enough to make the decision. So, well, let's just jump right in. So first of all, let's start with the two um, eyeshadows that I rolled in. So I had uh, the first eyeshadow was from the Striker Pose NYX palette. And it was shade number eight, which is the yellow shade right here. I do have a little bit of a dip in that one already. Not a huge dip, but a bit of a dip. And I know that the shades in these palettes, or in this palette mainly, are a little bit more on the powdery side. So I've decided I'm going to try and uh, hit pan on that one for like a longer term goal. Not just the 10 uses. Or maybe it will be 10 uses. Who knows? Um, the other eyeshadow that I rolled in... Funnily enough, was Organza from uh, the Sleek Oh So Special palette. Um, and that is the shade right here that I just uh, rolled out 
in my finale because um, I rolled it into the 10 uses part then. Um, so I've decided since I already made a little bit of progress on it, it already has a little bit of a dip. Let's just try and hit pan on it. So this shade right here is Organza. I don't know how well you can see it. It's just a nice like light pinkish shade. I actually happen to have this in my inner corners today as well. Um, Cause I'm filming this a little bit early. And then the NYX, let me actually swatch that one too. So it's a yellowy shade. I know these are a little bit more powdery. So it's not a hugely pigmented yellow either. I don't know if you guys can even see. Um, I promise that on my lid, it does show up, albeit a little bit more on the chalky side, but I feel like that's a yellow thing anyway. Um, okay, so those were the two eyeshadows that I rolled in. Then I already mentioned that I did have two blushes. So let's go to those two. The first one that I rolled in was this one, which is a W7 uh, powder blush in Tawny Glow. It is like not a huge blush because it only takes up like that part of the pan. How much is this? Um, 9.6 9 grams actually is quite a big blush. Um, it's kind of like a reddish, like darker shade. So I'm happy enough that I rolled this in now. Since I do like the darker shades on my cheeks a little bit more in winter time, just kind of that I just came out of the cold flush that they give to your cheeks. So that is uh, one of the ones that I'm working with. And then the other one actually is quite summery. This is as lively as ever from Catrice which has like two separate sides, but I tend to just blend them together and it gives a bit more of like a peachy blush, which is right next to it right here. So it's a bit more like corally, peachy, um, if I mix those two together. I do really like this one for true summertime. We're not in summer yet, but uh, yeah. Both of these I'm gonna put in my 10 uses because I'm not ready to commit to either one of these blushes. I've got some other blushes that I want to work on like as my main blushes during this year. So yeah, those are the blushes. Then, just trying to see what else did I roll in. Let's just finish off the, the longer term category first. So one of the products that I rolled in was this very shiny uh, Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder uh, in Fair. <laughs> and this is what that one looks like right now. And uh, I literally bought this like two weeks ago. It is the only powder that I have in my collection since I just finished up um, the Maybelline one. So I'm completely fine with rolling this in my long term because I'm going to be using this every day anyway. Um, and we're just going to try and finish it up, see how long that takes. Um, I've used it once or twice already. And you can definitely see that it's a micro powder. Like it blends out really nicely. It's really smooth and uh, not too mattifying as well. Like it does help with setting the makeup and mattifying a little bit. But it's not that like that cakey type of matte that some powders do tend to give you. I'm not going to swatch that one because it's my skin tone. I have it on my face right now. And another one that I rolled in, and this is not a really exciting one, but anyway, this is going to go in the long term category as well. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Um, I use one of these every quarter. I use them for three months and then I try them out. So technically we already know that this is going to be in here for the next three months and then uh, it will be gone. So January, February, March. And then... This one you might still remember from uh, 2020. Uh, this is the Master Smoky Eye Pencil from uh, Rimmel. Rimmel, right? Maybelline. <laughs> Maybelline. Um, and this is one that I was working on in my 2020 whole collection project pen. Uh, I didn't make a huge amount of progress on it, but I was focused on some other things at the start of the year as well. I've decided I'm going to roll this into my long term. We can actually measure from like January on to December and see like how much progress I can actually make on a pencil like this in a complete year. I don't know whether I will be able to finish it. It's probably going to be in here all year, but I think it's going to be interesting to see how the progress works with that one. And then lastly, I rolled in three lip products as well. And they're three separate lip products. I've got a lipstick, I've got a lip gloss, and I've got a lip lacquer liquid lipstick or whatever you want to call them so let's go through those 
Um, and as you can already see based on my decisions that I've made with the other products, these are all going to be in my 10 uses project side of the project. Um, the first one is the Max Factor lipstick in Icy Rose. I got this one from my sister because she wasn't actually using it. And this is what it looks like. Uh, the name Icy Rose kind of scares me a bit because it gives me a cool tone vibe, which normally isn't completely my thing. So I think it's nice to be able to use it for those 10 uses and see what I think of it because I haven't really used it yet since she gave it to me. That is what it looks like. So let's see. Um, to stay within that icy vibe, I also rolled in the NYX uh, Mega Shine Lip Gloss in um, Pink Frost. Like, at least they definitely belong in winter. Uh, and that is definitely a very icy, uh, very cool toned lip gloss. So I'm gonna see what I can do with that one. 10 uses is doable, so... Yeah, I haven't really used that one loads yet either, so it's gonna be good to use it a little bit more. And then lastly, we have this Catrice Made to Stay Smoothing Lip Polish. And this one is in Strawberry Secret, which definitely sounds a lot more summery. Um, this is also one that I got from my sister and it's breaking apart. Uh oh, I think I might not be able to use this one. The, uh, the, the dough food <laughs> left the... Okay, wait, I'm gonna try and see if I can get the stopper out and see if I can still fix this or not. <laughs> I'll be back in a so second. It seems like I'm unable to like fix that and the dough food is just completely gone somewhere in the tube. Um, so I won't be able to use that one. I guess I'm gonna have to throw it out. I guess you guys have any ideas about how I can still actually use it. And I don't really want to go like use a dough food from somewhere else and like just dip that in every now and then. Um, let me know if you guys have any thoughts, but uh, I think I think that's it for that one. So I'm just gonna roll again and see what last product we're actually gonna end up with. Um, so <laughs> let's see. The last product is 27. So let's take a look at what that one is. Maybe it's a lip product too. Uh, 27. <laughs> 27 is the Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in Stellar. Definitely familiar with those Rimmel ones, so I'm gonna get that one and uh, that's gonna be my 10 uses product instead for now. So this is the Rimmel one. Um, Stellar is a like bright orangey uh, liquid lipstick. Um, it's kind of nice that we still have lipstick, lip gloss, liquid lipstick. Uh, it's it's leaning a little, more, a little bit more red, but it still is definitely an orange. Um, so that is what we're going to be working with. At least we have like a warmer shade in there as well, next to those two pinks. Uh, we've got some blushes, we've got uh, eyeshadows, we've got loads to work on. I think these eyeshadows are doable to kind of have a hitting pan goal on next to all the other things that I'm going to be trying to hit pan on and finish up. So let's see. Um, so my thoughts for next time, I feel like I should be able to hit the 10 uses at least on the Tawny Glow blush because I think that that is going to be the one that I focus on first since it is something that I would wear more in winter. The lip products, I'm not fully sure yet what I'm gonna be doing with them. I'm sure I can hit 10 uses on at least one or two of them, but let's see if I'm going to be able to do that on all of them. Maybe the second blush as well. Um, and honestly, there actually is a nice dip already in the Organza shade in the Sleek Oso Special palette. So maybe I'll surprise myself and actually will manage to hit pan on an eyeshadow already. That would be fun. Um, yeah, but yeah, that is it. Uh, let me know if you guys have any thoughts on how I can fix that Catrice like liquid lipstick, if there is anything I can do. Um, and apart from that, I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.